Welcome, today we're going to look at how you can create this simple yet beautiful PowerPoint slide using 3D models and the morph transition. First we need to select a background for the slide. Once you've got your background image you can make some changes to sharpness and brightness if you'd like to. I'll make some minor changes to mine. When you're done it's time to add the other images. Start by inserting one of the images and go to picture format. Go to crop and crop your picture accordingly. If you chose the oval you can grab the yellow dot and drag it to adjust the corners. When you're happy with the image, make two copies of it and place them as you wish then change the pictures. With the images in place it's time for us to add the 3D models. These can be found by going to the Insert tab and clicking 3D Models. Here you can find a bunch of models that you can use in your slides. I found my models in the Vehicle category. Adjust the size of the models, place them on the images and rotate them to make them look nice. Use the symbol that appears on the 3D models when you select them to rotate them. Now it's time to add the text. Insert a text box and adjust the size, color, and font. I'm using the font Beauty Mountains. I'm using a gradient fill with a little bit of glow. With that out of the way, it's time for us to duplicate the slide. Select everything on the slide except for the car and the oval background behind it and move it out of the slide. Select the car's background and go to crop. Now recrop the image back to its full size then enlarge the image so it fills the entire slide. I'll fast forward through this. With the background covering the entire slide, make the car larger and rotate it so that it looks like it's on the road. Again, use the circle in the middle to move the 3D model freely. Let's add some shadow to the car to make it look more in place. Go to shapes and use the trapezoid shape then place it under the car. Change the color of the shape to black. Bring the car to the front so the trapezoid sits under the car. Select the shape and increase the soft edges to make the shadow look better.
I'm copying the text from the first slide. You can do the same or use any other font you like. Copy the text box to create a subheading. Use another suitable font for the subheading and select any color you like. We need to create the animation for the car now. Select the car and go to the Animations tab. Click the little arrow to see all animations and select the spin animation. Our car is now spinning 360 degrees, which we need to change. Open the animation pane and double click the animation in the pane. Copy the changes I make here. I select 1 degree, which is how much the car will move. Check the auto reverse box then go to the timing tab. Set start to after previous. I accidentally set duration to 0.5 seconds but it needs to be much faster so set it to 0.05 seconds and set repeat to until end of slide. Select both text boxes and copy them over to the first slide. Paste the text in the first slide and make it smaller then place it above the car. Select both text boxes and go to Format Object, then increase transparency to 100%. The last step is to select both slides then go to the Transitions tab and selecting Morph. 